Hello, in today's video I will show you how to pinpoint uh, electrical problems on your Mercedes W124. You usually know when there's a problem when you want to start the car and the battery is uh, empty uh, and the car doesn't start. Or sometimes you've got some lights that dim a bit too much. Uh, you got, um, uh, I don't know, uh, lights that come on and off. Uh, we can see there's a bad contact. So um, I will try to show you how to how to check that. We're gonna start with the battery to check the battery, uh, and we're gonna use uh, something like this. Uh, we're gonna put it on 20, <clears throat> and we're gonna check the voltage. Usually, a good battery is 12.6 okay so if we got that or more we got a good battery if less well obviously it could be because we we drain current somewhere okay so negative on negative and positive on positive okay 1248 it's not bad okay so the battery is good now we're gonna do another test okay if we put those two onto the plus terminal it should be no resistance whatsoever because it's a complete circuit. Uh, therefore, it should stay at zero or very close to zero. Okay, so I connect this one, I connect this one. As you can see, zero. Okay, that's very good. Now, as you can see, I've disconnected the, the plus uh, on the battery. And now, if I connect the plus and the plus here, uh, so it should be one cable same thing we should have uh, no resistance or very little if we got resistance there's a short for sure so i connect it here and here and it's climbing okay as you can see there's a lot of resistance therefore there's a short somewhere on the car uh, it shouldn't be anywhere near this okay um so let's uh, find out now more or less where the problem could be now that we know we have a short on the car um, obviously we can't check the entire car like that uh, we need to kind of pinpoint where the problem is for that we're gonna use the fuse box to guide us a little bit so if we open it we have a, a guide here okay uh, that tell us what fuse is for what so therefore, what we need to do, uh, for instance, we remove, uh, I don't know, an example. Uh, you, you will need to test each and single one of them anyway. But for instance, I remove this one. And now I will do just like before. I will uh, check the cable and the terminal of the battery and see if there's a resistance. If after removing this, there's still a resistance, then that's not the problem. So I place it back. Okay. And then I'll go to the next one. Check again. If, for instance, there's still resistance, then it's not this one. And we continue, so on and so forth. Now, for instance, I remove this one, and uh, you see the resistance that drop a lot. Eh? Uh, so we know that would be the problem. So then you look, you compare with this, okay? Uh, if you don't have this, you can find it on the internet. I've seen it, eh? So, for instance, here, number 10, what we have here, number 10 is a uh, eatable rear window, okay? So, we know the problem might come from the, the, the rear window. In that case, open the boot, uh, check all the cables that go there. Um, you will see, because th there's a lot of um, uh, mass uh, on the car, huh? uh, uh, so it's uh, ground ground on, on the car a bit everywhere. So obviously around the window uh, uh, In the boot you will you will see a lot of uh, bolts with cable uh? When you see that uh, unscrew it clean it nicely place it back together check all the cables that you see uh, in that area uh, Make sure they are not two that connect together because obviously that will create a problem as well uh, And basically if you check all that normally you will fix your problem okay so i can't go any much further in, in into this because obviously each car uh, is different uh, each car can have a uh, a different electrical problem uh, but now it's for you to have a look and um, and find out where is the problem i've forgotten to tell you as well that obviously when you uh, check all the fuse etc 
make sure that you have everything off on your car. You don't have the contact on, you don't have uh, the glove box on, you know, or open with the light on, uh, the doors are shut, uh, etc. Nothing that can draw uh, power, like the radio, stuff like that, okay? So make sure everything is off on your car, test it, and you should be able to find the, the problem, okay? So I hope you have liked that uh, short video, and I hope this will help you find electrical problem on your car. Ciao!